And that's the whole pack. So that's all the stuff I carry in it, including the binoculars. It is an extra weight on your chest, but it's nice to have all that stuff with you, especially when you're dropping your pack because you're carrying a 40 or 50 pound pack around. I you feel can, naked without a binocular. You can be doing some product reviews here on the channel. Uh, we're officially in the off season. We're still rolling out some episodes of hunting stuff. Uh, Isaac's episode just released his whitetail season, the story of the five by three. Um, man, I love, I love putting that one together. That was a four year story. It turned out really well, but off season means we need to do some filler content, some other stuff that uh, we just can't get to when we're hunting. During hunting season, he hunted how many days out west? I hunted four, about 60 days this year. If you include the spring bear, that's, and then the fall. That's out of state, honey, I guess. Not just yeah, out west. Out of state, yeah. Crazy. So we don't have time to do a lot of uh, stuff that we'd like to do during the season. It's basically hunt, sleep. Uh, we don't work much in the fall, but hunt, sleep, and film, edit. Um, it's just, it's crazy busy. But now that we're in the off season, 60 degree February day, we're going to do our first product review in a while. Um, it's our first actual... It's our first studio. Uh, yeah. Putting together an actual production of a yeah. product review. Our first unboxing, too. Uh, as anyone who watches the show knows, we built this last year during turkey season to kind of help with this kind of thing. We've reviewed the Radix Monarch Blind, which we've been using for four or five years now. I'll put the links to these two other reviews in the channel. Um, we love those things. Um, they're not the greatest hunting blind in the world, but they are the best budget blind that we've ever found. Yes. Awesome. Uh, and then I reviewed the uh, TSC all-purpose mineral that we use. It's an awesome starter for mineral licks. It's not a big buck on the bag, expensive hunting brand, but it's something you can find locally here in Ohio, and it's just been awesome, and we got pretty much everyone in the area using yeah. it now. It's got all the minerals the deer need. It's yeah, cheap. it does a good job. But today, we are doing binocular harnesses, specifically the marsupial system. So I'll just do a quick run on what we've been using. Um, we use Nikon, and we use Vortex, and we use Maven binoculars. Maven binoculars. Yeah, so we got a bunch of different binoculars, but um, when you buy the Vortex, you get one of these. Everyone around here wears one of these. I know Tyler and Gore use these. Um, these are just a very simple binocular pack that comes with the Vortex. Um, and they actually do a really good job, but, um, and they look cool. They look really cool in video. I'll splice a bunch, we're going to splice a bunch of footage in during this, but. Yeah, because we have one of these packs. Lately, it's been the marsupial, but one of these packs are on our body yeah. whenever we're hunting. Yeah. And when you're hunting out west, it's on your body for 20 hours out of the day. All the hours you're not sleeping, you're wearing it. So. Yeah. And I'm blind, so anyone who watches the channel knows that I'm literally blind. So I can't see without binoculars. They are the number one most important factor for hunting. Everyone gets one of these when they buy their binoculars, or if you buy the other brand, sometimes they come yeah, with Yeah, this stuff. is an yeah. Alps, so this is a cheap one. It comes with some binoculars and kits. If not, it's like 30 or 50 bucks. And way better than just using the old school 1990s binocular harness strap yeah, over your... And nobody uses anymore. Yeah, it started with the neck lanyard, and then everyone started selling. What was the brand? I guess we got them all locally. Like, they were uh, subbed out to the local stores, but there was like they were a binocular harness that held your binoculars on your chest on the outside. No protection. So, obviously, protection became a big thing. These ones are great to keep your binoculars waterproof. Um, they look cool. Carry them around. Um... The problem I found with these ones, A, these Vortex ones are very noisy. B, when you're hunting, you're in a tree stand, silence and speed are important. Lifting the flap, pulling your binoculars out, doing your look, lifting the flap, putting it back in. A lot of movement, um, a lot of things you have to do. Um, so that's why these ones that come for free or these cheap $30, $40 ones um, have limitations. Uh, for the last, geez, I don't know how many years it's been, I've been wearing my... Badlands pack and these ones were probably the first ones that were popular on the market at least around here Yeah, everyone's like the local retail started selling them. everyone started selling these Badlands packs and They actually did a very good job and I've wore this thing on every hunt I've been on Probably for the last six seven years five six years. I had a version prior to that as well A lot I'm of our sure guys find yeah. some video of me wearing that too. Nick wears one Matt wore one for a while um, 
we've all been wearing these Badlands ones. Um, they're more of a silent type. They got these magnets that hold that open and close. Um, the big problem with that, especially late season, um, they snap sometimes. I don't know if you'll be. Able, I, won't, I might not be able to recreate without wearing them. Sometimes and my magnets are worn out, which shouldn't happen, but it does. Sometimes these things snap back and make a noise, and that's uh, busted us in the woods a couple times with deer. They look up and kind of take an eye. It's nice that you can kind of pull them out the top, slide them back in without having to lift a flap, but having this down while you're while you're glassing, and sometimes it snaps back, um, creates some noise. Um, there's not a lot of room in this one either. I keep GoPro batteries, and I keep my tags actually are always in this because it's waterproof. So I keep my tags in here. Um, there's always a lens cloth in here to keep everything clean. Uh, pen, pencil, some other things. I keep my release in here too. So I, since I always hunt with this, I keep my release in this during the year. This one has uh, little clips on the side if you have exterior clips on your rangefinder, which I didn't bring my rangefinder, but that keeps it exposed to the elements. I'm sure they sell some type of side pack you could add to this. I don't know because I haven't researched it in a while. But um, Badlands has served me well, but there was definitely some limitations, especially if you're doing the whole scouting, shed hunting, the whole nine yards, and you need a pack for everything. This thing falls a little bit short, even yeah. though it has served me well. It's comfortable to wear. I probably will still take this on shed hunts and stuff like that where I don't need the full system. But, uh, yeah, and, and my pair of Nikon binoculars I've had for probably 10 years now that are worn out and junk. But those are truck binos now. We'll, we'll talk truck. more about when we go over the marsupial, but all these are very similar as they don't have any way to stay at the ready. So these have a pouch that goes over the front. This thing has a Same flap hanging That out. has a flap. You're not going to run, run around with that. So there's nothing that keeps your binoculars ready to pull out. And when it's earlier in the year and I'm not pulling my bow up and we're just doing some like field side glassing, sometimes I keep my keep it open and keep my binoculars rested here, but obviously if you go to do any movements or if you're on the ground or it's just not conducive. I mean, they're, they're nice for what they're nice for uh, walking around and shed hunting stuff like that, but for the full system for hunting, especially out west, has limitations. So, we're going to get yes. an Isaac system, which he's been using for two years now. Two full years, so between spring bear and turkey and the fall. Before we get into the unboxing, I'll just talk about how I have my system set up. And this is pretty similar to, it's a pretty similar configuration to how I run here when we're hunting in the east and in the Midwest, but it's a little bit different because of the western hunts that I go on. So I keep a little bit more, a few more things in here than you normally would because this is the pack that you're wearing, like I said, 20 hours out of the day. If you don't have your backpack on, you're always gonna have this on. So if you need something to stay with you at all times, you keep it in your binocular pack. So on mine, I'll start with the binoculars. This stays open, so it's a little bit different than the, uh, the other systems that we were running before. I just keep my binoculars in here, it's a pair of Mavens. Uh, they're 10 by 42s. I think all of our binoculars we use are 10 by 42s. Yeah, my, my Nikons and my Vortex are 10 by 42s. Yes. So I have a rangefinder pouch on the right side, and they're, they're medium large. I think it's a large size accessory pouch on the left side. And I'll start with the bino pack itself. In the back, depending on the area we're hunting, I carry a revolver, 357, just a five shot. This is more for like black bear country, cougar country, something like that. If we're in grizzly country, I carry a, a Glock 20, 10 millimeter on my waist. So I won't carry this if we're in grizzly country, but this is just kind of a backup self-protection piece. And that slides in a pocket holster right into the back. Hillbillies in West Virginia too. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> we do a lot of mountain hunting. Yeah, two-legged and four-legged there's critters. Some, there's some critters out there that, that's no, that's no diss to the West Virginia people there. We love hunting there, but... You run across some people that are rough sometimes. <laughs> yes. In the right side, keep a windicator. Just the talcum powder that everybody uses to check the wind. Left side, lens cloth, because as you know, we're filming all our hunts. So I use this more than anything else. And this binocular pack really starts to shine with all the different pouches it has. So on the front, I actually keep a lot of stuff. First off, I carry a couple uh, dude wipes. And those are for, obviously, what tube wipes are used for. <laughs> this is my Taito knife. So it, it's a really light, just a frame knife, and I carry two or three blades with it. So if I do happen to shoot an animal, I need to quarter it out, I need to gut it. I have all this 
with me and it's just it's not even an ounce so this stays right in the front of my binocular pack just in case i drop my pack somewhere and you packed miles out away you packed out a bear a mule yes. deer and a whitetail this year yeah i've used this from knife. the back country yeah use this knife to quarter and skin all those animals this knife with two blades you can pretty much break down any animal that i've been able to harvest or hunt uh, going on in the front Keep a couple GoPro batteries. That's usually what I have when we're hunting two batteries in there. Just because we're filming everything with the GoPros. It's the easiest camera that we can use when we're on the go. Keep an extra couple of those batteries in there. But unfortunately the batteries suck. Yes. The, the new cold suck. weather ones are a little bit better. That's where we're using right now to film this. But and that's the pack itself. In the right side, I just this is the small rangefinder pouch, Vortex Rangefinder. Actually I'm gonna replace this this year, but that works great for bow hunting. Like yeah, and I keep it. Keep I keep it, it on a lanyard smart. just to keep it attached. So if I'm ranging something, I can just drop it. I don't even have to worry about going into the pouch. But this pouch also has a magnet on it, so it's got a rain cover and it stays open. So your range finder just drops right in there. Uh, right side or left side pack. This one I keep kind of full because I carry my Garmin inReach. So this is the satellite communicator that I use when I'm out west. Pretty or, much. Or West Virginia. Or West Virginia. Anywhere you don't have phone service, you can send text messages with this. So whether you're communicating with the people you're hunting with or people back home, that's very important. And it's very, uh, it's a very big safety piece. It has an SOS button on it. So if I do fall down, break my leg, fall into a mountain, I can press that and people will come and help. Uh, headlamp. Headlamp's really important when you're hunting out west and even here. Yeah, I mean, public land or new places, yeah. I mean, we don't use them on the farms that we're familiar with, obviously, but if you're anywhere yeah. unfamiliar, so and it's free, and you're carrying stands and bags and bow and... A couple different headlamps I use. This is just a black diamond. It's like a 30 or $40 headlamp, but I actually carry two. I carry this tiny little backup one, too. Just in case that one fails, batteries die, I lose it. I have this, too, because if you're on a mountain with no light, you're pretty much screwed at night. Uh, permanent marker for filling out tags. And the last two things, lighter, just just in case you have a lighter. And I use it to light my stoves and everything when we're cooking just because you have it on your chest, it's right there. And then chapstick, wrapped, it, wrapped in some tape. So you got your chapstick, which you always need because you're outside. And then blister tape. So it's if you, cheap non burts bees, man. Come yeah, on. It's just regu regular old chapstick. Man, gross. And blister tape on there too. That way you always have it with you if you start getting blisters on your feet. Other than that, usually in the back I keep my tags. That kind of keeps them safe. And that's the whole pack. So that's all the stuff I carry in it, including the binoculars. It is an extra weight on your chest, but it's nice to have all that stuff with you, especially when you're dropping your pack because you're carrying a 40 or 50 pound pack around. I you feel can, naked without a binocular yeah, harness. You can get by with what you have in this, especially in an emergency situation. So yeah, nice to keep it all in one spot. Multicam, frog skin arid, frog skin tropical, and coyote brown. And the, oh, and ranger the, green. Caleb has a ranger green muff, and I have a multi -pan, multi cam muff. Well, you want to know what a thousand dollars worth of bino, or bino harnesses look like. Oh, this one is pretty steep. Um, there definitely is some cost involved to have this system, but this is a buy once, have forever type thing. I don't see myself um, adding to this or at least stop using it. But this is going to be what it is for a long time. I got this camo, the more, uh, I should say, brighter stick out camo, because I do a lot of turkey hunting. Turkey hunting is my thing, so I'll be using this a lot for turkey hunting. So I wanted something that was kind of broken up. Probably won't need the muff for turkey hunting. Uh, the muff also con connects to the bottom here, too, so you can make one full system out of this. And yeah, these are the medium size binocular harness. Uh, we decided to get the medium because it'll kind of fit everything that we need to fit. These are 10 by 42s. These are Vortex Crossfire HDs. So kind of a normal binocular that everybody uses. They fit in there pretty well. Uh, they would fit, it would fit into a small pouch, but that kind of limits you in the future if you get a new pair of binoculars or if you get a 12 power or one with the bigger objective lens. So the medium fit pretty well. They actually stay in there pretty well, they don't fall out. But it does give you a little bit of extra room. Plus when we're hunting out west, sometimes we have tripod adapters on these, or you have lens caps. So a little Phone bit of extra Phone scopes you can throw in some of this stuff. Yeah. 
That's another thing. When I'm wearing mine, sometimes I like to throw my phone in the back here, just like this. That way when you're glassing or it's raining or something, you can keep your phone kind of out of the weather as well. So that gives you a little bit of extra space to do that. We have unlimited amounts of video of us wearing these. Yeah, we'll definitely put some highlights in. Kill a lot of deer. Isaac's kill a lot of deer wearing these. Um, that's it. These are your new binoculars. Yep. Your little binoculars. There it is. New marsupial pack. Yes. Yeah, these are pretty cool. I like these. Alright, I'm set up. And oh my gosh, is it beautiful out here. November 15th. Jay's across the way. I'm probably going to tell him to stop because this is just brutal country. But I'll show you some video and get him broken down and packed out. I'm so pumped. Oh, I'm so pumped.